Once again, I'm sorry this video sucks. Water. My, my garage has never looked so good. Except for a couple things over here and uh, that thing over there still. Oh yeah, and that thing here. Mm-hmm. Hey, yeah, just gonna cut in the bottom of her hood. If the neighbors ever go to bed. <clears throat> so we figured out why my car was smoking so much. And I'll show you. Except Angel's calling me, so I have to go. Oh, yeah. So anyway, I had these uh, evac deals in the headers. When you run your breather tube down to your header collector here. You know, so all your blow boy blow by goes out there. And these are one-way valves that are on the uh, header, so the exhaust can't go back up in the crankcase. And uh, my car used to smoke really bad. As you can see, this valve is no good. The exhaust is obviously be coming out of here, pressurizing it, and going out of this one, which is full of oil. So the exhaust on that side all full of oil and uh, that's why uh, yeah I had a little bit of a problem so uh, no more of those I just took and uh, put a cap on those and uh, won't be running those anymore ah, so I made the mistake of looking back here at my trunk this trunk was really rusty at one time. We cut out almost all the way across this thing on both sides of the lock and replaced the metal. Except apparently we missed a spot right there. So, uh, yep. Rust. Gonna seal the bottom of that hood, then put some base on it, and then it's done on the bottom. No clear on the bottom. No clear. Are we clear? Are we clear? There's no clear. No. It's not gonna be any clear. Blah, blah, blah. Huh? It's not gonna be any clear. Clear. When do you put the hardener and base coat for every hood color? Is that just like a you can do it all the time because it kind of gives it a little bit of a semi gloss look, and then it holds up better since you're not putting clear coat on it. So we're not gonna do that, because we don't care. Talking with Jeff about that today. Until he rudely got off the phone with me all of a sudden, because his neighbor was there. Oh, hold on, my neighbor's here. Click, thanks. Hey, like those fans. I wonder how loud they are. It's probably a lot better. I just wanted to uh, thank everybody for the comments you all left on my Duke video. Didn't expect to get that many. Sorry it was so sad. I could have put a happy song to it, but it just wasn't the mood I was in at the time. Mm-hmm. So yeah, we're going to uh, 
do the bottom of this hood and then when we paint the top of the hood. We don't know when we're painting the top of the hood, but at least the bottom will be done. Sunday? Sunday? Ooh. Sunday. Yeah. Hold on, Jim's back. Shh. Huh? Oh, Jim's going upstairs to the sauna. There's a sauna. He doesn't know what's up there. He opened the windows, sir. Oh, who opened the windows up there? Jim did. He said he went up there and he's like, Who told him Jim he could open the windows up there? Anyway, yeah. So, yeah. Mm hmm. Thanks for the Duke video comments. Yeah. He's a good dog. Mm hmm. He was even at our wedding. What did he do at our wedding? <laughs> yeah, he pooped right where I was supposed to be standing to say our vows. Yeah. Angel didn't get to see that. It happened no, before she came out. And, uh, somebody, everybody else got to see it. It was pretty funny. Everybody else saw it. And I don't remember who said it, but, oh, the dog did some, but we can't tell you about it yet. And they didn't tell me until afterwards. And I was like... It's a good time. <laughs> Why didn't you even tell me? I don't know. I didn't tell you. No. I didn't remember who told me. I don't know. It wasn't Jim. Well, we got pictures. That was before me and Jim were friends. In the good old days. And the neighbors are on the deck. Yes. Neighbors are on the deck. They should enjoy this. Yeah, they're worse. I really th th thought they'd be going to bed by now. It's bingo night, too. Bingo night? They don't play bingo. Alright, we'll be back. If I can turn this off with these gloves on. We might not be back. We just. Which gun are you using? Hmm. We're gonna go with this one. If anybody wants a cheap, inexpensive detail gun that works really good, find one of these. But good luck because I don't think they make them anymore. I just happened to find this one on eBay a couple weeks ago. Because we had one of these at work. We still do, actually, but the cup doesn't attach anymore because I dropped it and broke the adapter thingy off here so the cup won't screw on. But this gun works really well, uh, surprisingly. And I don't know how much money they were, but they weren't very much money. I got this one off eBay. It was brand new. Some guy I never used for, like, 50 bucks. So, yeah, that's what Angel's going to be using. Mm-hmm. I won't turn the camera on. I can't hear you. <laughs> How much are we going to eat? You probably got enough to do the whole thing. I don't know. Let's go around the edges to where you know the parts that you know show. Not on the outside, no. Yeah, you're going to want to do that. Huh? You what? Um, you know, you can't really mess it up. She's still talking. We don't know what she's saying. I can't see what's going on from here. Mm.
A little closer. And we're done. How's the neighbor situation? Still up. Still up. I hope they're choking on sealer fumes. Can you smell it out there? Not really. Wait till we get this red going. What we got here is uh, some crossfire crap. Go with the crappy base for the bottom of the hood, since it doesn't matter. We never changed the oil, so the hood will never be open anyway. Yeah, because red's expensive, so. We got a pint of the good paint for the top, which will give us a quart sprayable for the top. Mm -hmm. But we'll still use the rest of this for ground coat under that. Yep. I wasn't going to do this. But I got a little bit of clear hardener here. And uh, we're gonna put that much in there to, uh, you know, give the base coat a little durability. Something like that. Sounds good. Sounds good to me. Sound good to you? All right, thanks. Yep, this base sucks. It doesn't cover. Which I already knew. So it kind of makes it pink, which is pretty sweet. What was that all about? Huh? It fell out? You don't want to leave any dry stuff because this is our fun. We want to get it all wet so it will dry uniformly. This is our final finish. And it's beautiful.
just to just to show you that Angel follows follows uh, directions and pays attention to her teachers. Mm-hmm. So that's that. That's good. We'll uh, yeah paint the top and uh, sometime, and uh, we'll be good. That concludes this installment. Of Jim messing around with crap on my toolbox. <laughs> Square up these stickers. Yep, oh, they're perfect. They're dead on. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, we needed another fan. So, we put one in this window, too. But it just, I don't know, it seems to be frozen up or something. It's not working. <laughs>